Yo, 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 what's up? How's everybody doing, man? Uh, hopefully you all caught the part yesterday. Touched on some nice points yesterday. I think it was good. Had a nice day. Hopefully you all had a nice day too. Um, today is the day. Um, I'm gonna tell you how to enter the. I'm gonna tell you how to enter the raffle. It's only gonna be a twenty five dollar raffle, but you know, just me showing your my appreciation to y'all. You know, all all x amount of y'all that tune in every day. I appreciate y'all, man. Um, you know, it is what it is. So somewhere at some point in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to enter. All right. Like and subscribe if you, you're gonna have to be a subscriber though, you know. So you gotta be a subscriber. Just can't be no, you know, no straggler. But you know, you ain't no straggler. You know what I'm saying? Just you know, just subscribe, man. Be a subscriber. Um, but I'll tell you how to enter in the middle of this video sometime or whatever. Um, so like subscribe if you like this video. Um, hit the notifications tab so you'll be notified every time I upload. Uh, most importantly, follow Fancy Labs NBA on Twitter. Uh, they, they, you know, I can't, you know, I can't stress this enough. Uh, it's important for you to know your personnel, uh, know the injury report, learn the injury report, learn these player trends because they be in and out. And then that's, a, that's a great way to, um, get value, you know, on, on the books. That's how money is won. You know what I'm saying? Right before lock, knowing who's in and out, who's going to benefit it from it. You know what I'm saying? As we go through this journey, make sure you know your personnel. You know what I'm saying? If this is a damn near like a quarter way through the season right here, take a step back. Think about what you're doing. If the season ended today, did you profit? What can you do to make your make your you know make your bank roll you know the pads of bank roll? But like I say, it's important. Ask yourself right now, if the season ends tomorrow, did I make some money? What the fuck could I have done? to do, you know, am I betting stupid? What what's up? What's up? Let me know, man. I mean, let yourself know. I you know, you know, cuz uh we're not doing this shit here for free. You know what I'm saying? It's too many ways to get money on these books. You know what I'm saying? So find a way, you know what I'm saying? You know, we got to find a way. You know, I don't give a fuck if you got to put some, you know, like I do most of the time. You got to put some some high odds together. You know what I'm saying? Basketball is the most, in my opinion, it's the most consistent sport. You know what I'm saying? I can I can put me some high odds together to get me to 110 or plus money and hammer it. That's what I gotta do. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, we got four day four games on the on the dock on the docket, man. You know, uh I'm gonna go through these games real, you know. So look, we got 13 games tomorrow, man. We got 13 games tomorrow. If you have to take it easy here, don't force nothing. You know what I'm saying? You might have to take it easy. If you have to take it easy, look ahead tomorrow. Mentally prepare yourself. So you can come back to the pod. You can come back to the pod and you can, you, you can say, man, let me know something that you like or whatever, you know? But, uh, yeah, it's always good to look ahead. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, ooh, this game tomorrow, this game tomorrow, that game tomorrow. I'm going to be ready for this. I'm going to be ready for this. Always look ahead, no matter what day it is. Thursday. We don't have no NBA on Thursday, all right? So, um, we got a 208 over under in this one. Uh, Miami Heat on the road, uh, favored by 10 at Detroit. We know this is a slow, this is probably going to be a pace down matchup. Both of these teams play slow as hell. We got a 208 over under in this one. There'll be no, um, there'll be no, um, Isaiah Stewart, okay? And then Duncan Robinson is questionable, all right? So, uh, let me try to breeze through this shit. And then we got, uh, Killian Hayes is out. You know, so some, you know, some people like uh, Hamnio Diallo, they've been getting minutes. And then, you know, you can look out for somebody like uh, Josh Jackson. He might get a little bit of extra minutes. Corey Joseph comes in and play a lot of minutes. You know what I'm saying? So uh, the last three games, he's played 30 minutes or better. So that's something to look out there. All right. And then, um, yeah, so. You know, I'm you know, I have some interest right here. I'm probably gonna have some interest in somebody like uh Kay Cunningham. Uh he should get all the usage in the world. And uh, you know, that that that, that five assists. As of late, that five and a half assist prop is looking is dangling as of late. You know, he's hit this prop uh and what? Uh five out of his um last six games he's hit this uh assist prop and even if you want to wait till the alternates come out and alter it down to five or something like that be my guess so i imagine you know he's he's so i have some i have some interest in that you know 
uh, Jam Grant uh, 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 point props. I don't know if I'll be able to get to it. I don't know what to expect from this type of, from this game here. So, uh, you know, anything can happen, you know, in this game, uh, you know. So, uh, another thing I want to touch on right here is uh, P.J. Tucker, all right. <clears throat> P.J. Tucker's point prop is sitting at six and a half, okay. He, uh, he hit this number in his last three. He's hit this number in, uh, uh, shit, four out of his last, no, he hit this number, uh, shit, five out of his last seven games, okay. And then she had probably out of his last uh, nine games, nine, ten games, he's had six points or better. All right. From the three-point arc, he's hit uh, two or more threes in, um, what, four out of his last five games. All right. So he's on a, he's on a little he's on a little something right now, you know. <laughs> um, like I say, Duncan Robinson, he's questionable for this one. <clears throat> so keep an eye out on that situation. That's a little bit more. Just maybe one or two more shots for him. Uh, but you know, overall, I'm not looking at too much from this game. I'm leaning towards uh, <clears throat> I'm leaning towards Miami in this one, so I'm probably gonna like some player performance doubles. All right, so uh, I'll probably be taking some stabs. I'll be looking at this Bam Adebayo double double to win. No Isaiah Stewart. Uh, Bam Adebayo hasn't had a, tr a double double in uh, three games. All right. He got close one of those games against Washington. So he had a back-to-back -back against Washington. He had six and nine rebounds. Then he played Utah. He had seven rebounds. Then his prior three games to that, three games prior to that, he had three double-doubles in a row. So, you know, I have some interest in that. And then um, P.J. Tucker, he's had 10 points in the last three games. It's going to be a painful-ass uh, bet, but I'm probably going to sprinkle a little something on that. And I wouldn't mind uh, that P.J. Tucker two threes at 190 plus 196. So it's like a pick your poison. You guys got something to let me know. Uh, moving along to uh, New Los Angeles Lakers at New York Knicks. Um, 215 over under in this one. A four and a half, uh, New York Knicks four and a half point favorites in this one. Uh, right off the back, I'm going to have some points, uh, some interest in uh, Julius Randle point prop at 21 and a half. I'm going to tell you why right now. We're going to go through the injury report. Anthony Davis is rocking the Q-tab, but, you know, of course, he's probably going to play. Uh, Derrick Rose, he's questionable. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, Marcus Robinson. Marcus Robinson is out this game, okay? Then you're going to have uh, Taz Gibson. Taz Gibson is considered doubtful for this game. So, uh, that front court is going to be kind of thin, you know, going up against this big front court of the Lakers, all right? So, that leads me to um, Ju Julius Randle. Julius Randle is already paying a heap of them minutes. He just played 39 minutes against um, the Chicago Bulls. He had 34 and 10. Uh, I'm, uh, I like to target uh, a good, aggressive players against Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis is the type that don't want to get in foul trouble, all right? So uh, and, uh, we should look for uh, Julius Randle to be aggressive early and often. He was very efficient against the Chicago Bulls. He had he went 13 and 19. He only took two threes. He hit one of them though. So uh, that point prop is definitely in jeopardy. He hasn't been hitting it lately. He's hit this point prop twice in his last man, probably three times in his last eight games. But you know, in this situation, you know. Given it going up against his former team, of course, of course he's probably going to be motivated. All right. Uh, next thing I want to touch on here is uh, Kimber Walker. All right. I like to target guards against Russell Westbrook, uh, especially aggressive guards. But the thing about Kimber Walker, we need to get him to be aggressive. This motherfucker ain't been aggressive. He been playing like ass. All right. His minutes have been trending down his last four games. He's played minutes in the area of 18, 21, 21, and 20. I mean, his minutes have been trip trending down. Of course, he's been getting no Tibbs nerves. I know Tibbs is just about tired of that shit. Uh, he's had, he hasn't hit in his last three games. He's went under um, 10 shot attempts. That needs to change. Uh, if Derrick Rose doesn't go, then you might see some elevated usage for Kimber Walker and um, guys like uh, Emmanuel quickly coming in off the bench. But, uh, you know, that's where I, I I I have some mild interest in uh, 
uh, Kemba Walker. Point guards have been coming in, giving um, Russell Westbrook the business. You already know I like point guards. Aggressive point guards against Russell, West, Russell Westbrook. Lonzo went in there and gave him the business. Then you got um, then K. Cunningham just went in there and gave him a triple-double. Kemba Walker, it should be your turn. If not, who I'm going to have some interest in um, no matter what is my guy Alec Burks. His uh, uh, Kimber Walker and Evan Fournier minutes are trending down. Alec Burks, Emmanuel Quickly, and Derrick Rose, their minutes are trending up. <clears throat> In his last uh, three games, uh, um, Alec Burks has played minutes as 29, 25, and 27. He's had point totals, you know, he's had uh, around 15 points. 14, 15 points are better in um, five out of his last six games. If D Rose having to miss, uh, guys like Alec Burks, they should, they could have a game. All right. So uh, one of those, he's had his, his three points. You know, he's hit two or more three pointers in um, five out of his last six games. You know, uh, and he had makes in the in the, in the range of uh, six for seven, four for twelve, two for six, three for six, and four for seven. All right. Coming off the bench, Alec Burks is one of those guys that the books know that we try to we trying to find value with him. They don't put him on the books right away, but like an hour, thirty minutes, fifteen before lock, fifteen minutes before lock, you have to keep checking. That's when they put Alec Burks up there, and then you know if you want to take advantage of advantage of this uh, of his point prop, then that's when you get him. You know what I'm saying? If they put him up there right away, then so be it. All right. Last but not least, I want to talk about um, Ted and Horton Tucker, okay? Ted and Horton Tucker, all right? Um, LeBron James has been back. He's still been getting his minutes, but his usage has been down. The two games that LeBron James has played, he, 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 he scored eight points and two points, all right? He's had um, shot attempts in the area of four, I mean, of 13 and six. But uh, the previous three games, LeBron James didn't play. He played minutes in the area of uh, 39, 37, and 27. Those were his first three games back without LeBron. He had points in the area of 25, 28, and 17. All right? Rebounds 12, 6, and 4. Three-pointers. Um, he went um, 3 of 6, 4 of 9, and 1 of 5. LeBron James won't be playing tonight, and he should be shooting early and often. Going up against this Knicks team, I'm not a fan of that. Neither one of these teams' defense right now, especially in their front in their in their backcourt. So we'll see what the deal is, all right? Um, but you know, let's keep it moving. I just had to let you guys know know that to enter the to, to enter the raffle. This is what I need y'all to do. I need y'all to comment on the um comment comment in the comment section because I'm going to use a, a comment generator. So I'll do that on camera tomorrow. Or Thursday or whatever. I'm gonna use a comment generator, and then it, what it, what that's gonna do is gonna it's gonna t extract the comments from this video and this video only, and the people who comment um, on that video are gonna be entered into the raffle. You have to be a subscriber. What I need you to do is what I want you to do is comment. Um, how can I make this pod better? Longer, shorter. You can say it's fine. You can say I fuck with you. It's all good. Do you? I mean, whatever you want to say, just you know, let's keep it respectable. You know, honest opinions. I'm looking for that. All right. And if you don't got nothing, man, just you know, comment something, bro, just to get in there, man. But uh, we got a two thirteen and a half over under in this one. Um, Portland Trailblazers favored by six and a half at home. Uh. Um, what I was gonna say, uh, the Joker, he's um, he's questionable for this one. Yeah, yeah, the Joker, he questionable for this one. So, uh, you know, Joker has owned his own use of Nurkic. I don't really like that. You know, uh, these guys used to be teammates in Denver. You know, they they pulled the trade and got uh, uh, use of Nurkic out of there. Uh, these teams just played. A few games ago, uh, uh, the Joker had 29-9-9. Uh, he, he might have this game circled on his calendar. Portland has been really good at home. So uh, we just need to find this, uh, the status. You know, Joker is averaging um, 26, shit, 26 and a half, 13 and a half, and 6 and a half. 
<laughs> he kill it right now, man. And the man off the chain, you know. But uh, guys like Damian Lillard, okay. So we only got the um, starting lineup out for the um, for the Dem uh, Portland Trailblazers. That's all we got. Um, Damian Lillard, all right. He um, he's been playing some good ball this late. He had thirty nine against uh, Philadelphia. I'm not I'm not a big fan of uh, Morris defense. He'll be faced with Morris tonight. Uh, I like his matchup. All right. His last his last few games he's been pretty, playing pretty good, you know. He's averaging 20 on the season he's averaging 21 4 and 8. So, uh he's been dropping off a little a, a decent amount of dimes. Uh his his is 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 uh assist prop is sitting at seven and a half. You know, he's uh he's hit this number quite often. Well, I mean, you know, a few times. You know, if you want to alter it down to seven or maybe six and um in in same game parlays, I can understand that. Uh, this three point prop is sitting at plus money for uh for the over three and a half. We all know he will smash this. He's hit this number in uh, uh two out of his last four games. But you know, you know how, how bad he was shooting a three, you know, early in the season. But you know, right now he's hit, he's at least hit um three threes and um four out of, uh um uh, um um six out of his last shit. He's hit three threes six out of his last seven games. So uh you know. It looks like he's back, getting back to rare form. If you want to alter it down to three threes, you'll get that at a minus two forty and uh, same game parlays. Uh, Robert Covington, Robert Covington from behind, behind the arc. Um, you know he's a three and D guy. Okay, so uh, you know he's playing a ton of minutes. Well, he's playing a decent amount of minutes. You know, he's averaging around 25 minutes a game, 24, 25 minutes a game. But uh, he's hit one three-pointer in every game in his last 15 games. And, and, and he's hit one three-pointer in, um, you know, uh, 13 out of his last 15 games, okay? But his last three, uh, three out of his last four games, he's hit two threes. So, uh, you know, that's something, to, you know, to look out right there. If you want to take, this is the only prop I really recommend. It's either you're going over this uh, um, one and a half or under this one and a half. I have some slight interest for the over because you're going to get it at uh, plus money. Because uh, this one made three is really, really juiced up at uh, seven, plus seven, at, at minus 700. All right, so it's either over or under for me. Uh, so um, I'm probably leaning towards the over, man, just in case he's hot. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, not too much for this game. Uh, if Joker doesn't go, uh, slight lean towards, I mean, a lean. my lean is towards um, uh, Portland Trail Blazers in this one, and I'll probably go to something like some uh, player performance doubles. You know, maybe a three point prop for Damian Lillard or something like that. Uh, if they got one, what is it? Uh, let me see. Do they have a Damian Lillard three point prop in the win? I don't see one. Maybe I have to, I don't want to waste my time looking for one. Oh, they got five threes. I don't know about that. It's definitely doable. Y'all already know. He'll go out there and hit five, but I don't know about that. But uh, I'll find something. Um, Last game on the docket, 209 over under in this one. Uh, Dallas Mavericks on the road at the Clippers. Uh, Clippers favorite five and a half in this one. Um, So, you know, that, these two teams just played. Um, Paul George had, what, 29 points? Uh, so uh, it's definitely uh, this point. This point prop is definitely in jeopardy uh, at twenty five and a half. He's hit it several times this year, but I don't know. I, I really, I rarely go to those uh, when the points are that high. I ain't even gonna lie. I, I rarely go to those point props. What I do, y'all already know. Most of the, it's a three point shooting league. Most of the time, these guys are gonna take the uh, hit, be hitting the threes, man. So his his three point prop is sitting, his over under sitting at two and a half at minus one fifty six. He's hit this three point. His three, this, this three prop, it frequently, you know. I mean, his last three games, he hit it. Then he hit two. Uh, then his next two two games, he had uh, two three-pointers. Then he hit it uh, three times in a row. Then he cooled off for two games. Then he hit it, like, three times in a row again. You know, then he cooled off a little bit. So, you know, we know that shit is in jeopardy. You know what I'm saying? If you want to take him for – uh. Uh, 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 um, Reggie Jackson, his three point prop is sitting at uh, plus money at for the over or uh, three and a half. Last time these two teams played, which was um, actually um, last game, this is a rematch. He just hit four threes, all right? He's hit four threes or better in three games. 
in three in, in, in three out of his last four games, all right? It's basically all he does is shoot a lot of threes. And his point prop is in jeopardy, all right? Uh, his three, his, his point prop is sitting at um, 17 and a half, I believe. Um, he's hit this number frequently, to say the least, especially three out of his last four. Then he had 13 points. Then he came back uh, and hit this point prop like five straight games. So, you know, the usage is there for him. Um, injuries for this game, we have uh, Nicholas Batum. <clears throat> he's out. Then Marcus Morris, he should be limited if he plays. And then, you know, uh, you got Terrence Mann. That's another guy you need to look out for. Master Kleber is back. So we don't have the props out for the uh, for the uh, um, Clippers. I mean, the Dallas side of things. But, you know, to go into uh, – I'll go into it a little bit on uh, Christian Porzingis, okay? Christian Porzingis has had uh, 20 points or better in six straight games, all right? He's averaging 28 and 2 on the season, all right? Um uh against this he had he just had 25 8 and 2 against the against these uh, um Clippers. Um he's a three-point threat. Um last game he went 0 for 4 for uh 3, but his previous six games he hit two three-pointers or better. So there you have that. Um, and all that has been the absence of Luka Doncic, who's missed three games. He's questionable for this game. I would imagine they just let him sit out. I don't know. We'll see. Next guy I want to talk about, Jalen Brunson. He's played uh, 35 minutes or better in four straight games, all right? And he's averaging nine assists in his last three games, okay? Um, he's had, surprisingly, he had, uh, I mean, uh, four rebounds or better in his last three then he cooled off with two rebounds, then two rebounds. Then he hit four rebounds or better in, in his previous five games before that. You know, so he, you know, he'll go out there and get you a few rebounds, all right? His assist, his assist prop, I don't know where his assist prop is going to come out. I believe it's going to come out at five and a half. He's averaging five and a half re, uh, three uh, assists on, on, on the season. It might come out at six, six and a half, but I, I say five and a half for sure. So, you know, he's been crushing that five and a half. He hit five and a half in four straight games. And, God damn it, um, uh, seven out of his last um, eight. So, uh, I tip of my expectation on the threes. He does take the three point, you know, he does take the threes. But, uh, you know, he's hit two threes in um, two out of his last five games. But, you know, his last five games, he's hit at least one, all right? So it's a lot to like about that. You know, I don't have a lean in this one right now. Um, be safe out there. Uh, good luck today, guys. Um, I'm going to be doing some player performance doubles and probably some same game parlays today. Probably some low odds, same game parlays, maybe three. And some player prop parlays, maybe some, you know, some under five plus 500 odds. And I'm going to put some money on it. Um, peace out, guys.